What is up guys, this is Kevin here from Fashion Forward Always. I'm here with another video. This is gonna be a bit more of a discussion video. So we are gonna be talking about Grailed. The best thing that's happened to menswear, I guess, just in a long ass time. So for those of you who do not know, Grailed is essentially like a marketplace where people can upload their items and basically it's just a place where everybody who likes clothing can go there to buy clothing, etc. Usually at discounted prices because they are secondhand and it's awesome. I've been using Grail for around two plus years now, almost three, um, maybe even three. I forgot when I created my account. My very first email from Grail. 2014. Holy shit, it's been over three years. But nevertheless, it's been a long ass time and I do have some little uh, things that I'd like to improve. Grilled has gotten tremendously better since I used it. So since now they are a growing company and then more and more users are being exposed to it, uh, here are a few things that I think Grilled can improve on and I think they should improve on, at least for the future. First things first is something that I find is running rampant is to deal with offsets transactions so how I suggest dealing with offsite transactions is doing a tiered system for their fees so currently grail does a 6% cut plus the 2.9% from PayPal and 30 cents off of every transaction and I think that alone makes people want to do offsite transactions if you do a tiered system depending on your confirmed transactions with grail I think that'll dramatically decrease the amount of transactions I believe that are gonna be illegitimate, I guess illegitimate in a sense. So how I suggest this is if you have like 50 confirmed transactions, um, you will have a decreased percentage of 5% instead of the six, and then it'll just continually tear down like that. Like if you have a hundred uh, confirmed transactions, you will only have 4% plus the 2.9 plus the 30 cents. So the PayPal fees and the 30 cents doesn't change, but the actual grill fee itself I think should change instead of it just being a static 6%. This would also encourage more legitimate accounts because I know scammers and people who are relatively new to Grail, like they see an opportunity to scam because like they're like, oh, I can just make another Grail account and then they scam somebody, they hop and then they make another Grail account. So in that case, I think having a legitimate and long-standing account would actually benefit both the user and you know Grailed itself because one they won't lose out on a lot of transactions which a lot of people already do offsite transactions through Instagram or through DMs or through emails etc um, and two you will be kind of rewarded in a sense for being a legitimate seller or a legitimate buyer. Another thing is kind of just like a small little thing. Um, I'd like there to be like a confirmed kind of icon next to your name. Uh, I know that admins currently, they do have this grayscale check mark right next to their name, uh, but that's such a limited thing just for admins to have. I think admins should have something else and then have somebody who is either a confirmed account and how I, propose I guess to do this is having their PayPal uh, account checked so that they have a confirmed address and then their PayPal account is a long-standing PayPal account because I know PayPal requires you to I believe upload government identification for your account to be confirmed and your address to be confirmed. Um, sneaker marketplace app called Grail they also do this except they do it to the next level where they specifically require you to upload a government ID. I don't suggest Grail to do that yet because of course that would alienate some users who do not currently have a government ID or they have an international ID. That's why I would just say have their PayPal account and address confirmed. This might be a little bit of a controversial little thing that I'd like to implement is to make it harder to register to Grail. Because scammers, again I mentioned it in my first one, scammers can just make another account. So it's not like there are a lot of safeguards I suppose in place. Of course people shouldn't be buying you know, like large ticket price items from a seller who has like zero feedback, but there are some legitimate people, but the scammers, they will just continually make accounts like that. I propose it being harder to actually register to Grilled where Grilled should have some sort of criteria for anybody who does register. Cause I know um, GOAT, they do take a little bit of a longer time for you to be a registered seller under, you know, like GOAT's name. Cause GOAT is, I guess, the one responsible for it. Another little thing is that I would like a forum actually. Um, I think having a 
an actual like community would really help. But I know that the age of forums, a lot of people have been talking about that. The age of forums is coming to an end with, you know, like KTT not having as many users, Nike Talk kind of dying down. Um, hype beast forums closing down, etc. But I do think it's important because forums just bring a sense of nostalgia. I'm not sure whether or not that really clouds my judgment, but I'd like to see a forum again where I could go to just talk about like you know recent collections, brands, etc., up and coming brands. Because I used to go to the forum. Um, primarily hype beast forums if I wanted to talk about you know my favorite brands you know like recent collections etc I think that'd be such a cool place to really I guess communicate because the only sense of community that I really get from Grailed is the low balls um, the comment section of the dry clean only articles and the comments of items and that's about it that isn't really like a community it's more of just like disjointed like conversations so i do think having a community in itself is really important i know girl has mentioned this already before but i think i should um kind of re-emphasize it i think it's extremely important to have a women's wear section on grail women's wear is such an integral part to high fashion and like designer fashion that i just think it should have been like a no-brainer i know that grail's uh ceo and creator has talked about this how they are going to be implementing like women's wear they're currently getting the staff ready they're getting the infrastructure ready and i know that it's going to be crazy big because it's going to be extremely competitive when compared to other like women's wear consignment or uh, marketplaces such as the real real where they take a 30 percent cut rather than Grailed's, I guess, competitive 6% plus 2.9 plus 30 cents, you know? So I really, really hope that women's wear gets bigger. Also, Grailed sizing is kind of limited since um, I believe the shoe sizes only go down to a size six and my girlfriend's a size five. So it's really hard for me to find, I guess, like secondhand items or I guess, um, discounted items I suppose in a size 5 shoe so I just like to see a woman's wear soon hopefully maybe by the end of this year maybe yeah so yeah those are my I guess top five things that I'd like to see in grilled um, hopefully in this up and coming um, you know fall winter season they can get some of it done if even maybe sometime next year these are just like I think long-term stretch stretch goals i don't know but i just like to see some of these things implemented if anybody in grailed or from grailed uh, is watching this thank you guys for watching and thank you for spending your time to look at i guess your customer feedback i suppose yeah so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and for everybody else i see you guys later i have a belt giveaway featuring aoku and my bag review is almost ready well the bag review is ready but he's sending me a belt to review as well so I'm gonna be getting both of those kind of jam-packed in one. Thank you guys. See you guys later. Peace. So hear music better when you close.